Hello, beautiful people. It's Celia Mutuning Zengele here. Welcome to this YouTube channel. If you're coming across this YouTube channel for the first time, welcome. If you are a new subscriber, welcome. Please stay. If you are a return sabi, welcome. Thank you for your time, data that you are spending on my videos. Uh, today, once again, Sizo Seba. Uh, I want us to discuss our sister, big sister of YouTube again. I don't even know where to start because I feel like I've got a lot to say about her today. Uh, some good news, some bad news. I think I must start with the bad news first. Uh, the bad news are that um, she was at it again with Musa. Uh, not directly though on her space uh, you you do know let me start let me start where i i ended last time remember Mosa dragged owami badly the other time uh, she's wounded guys and she did um she did express how she felt about what he did on her no she actually Mosa refers to herself as a she she uses the pronoun she I think we can officially use she for Mosa because she she calls herself a, a gossip girl and today in one of the spaces I heard her correctly referring to herself as a sister referring uh, to, her, to herself as a woman so I think we got to do the right thing and refer people with the pronouns that they are comfortable with so Musa Kaula is a she, guys. So we have to embrace that. Fine. Embracing Musa with her she-ness. Musa, um, okay. Now this week, this, this is where it started. Uh, sometime this week, Musa expressed how Leroy and Michali, you know, how he's forever on Leroy and Michali's story. Uh, Leroy had paid him 20000 so that he stops posting about Michali. Fine. Pass that, that one. That's a story for another day. Now, I think it got to the ears of our big sister, Owami. And then when it got to her, she felt like this is something to, 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 to laugh about. Because really, here is Mosa busy coming at her and whatever whereas he's busy taking the twenty thousands here and there so that um he can shut up about some people she felt like uh, mosa is too cheap to be sold with a 20 a mere twenty thousand by millionaires like leroy um that's a story for another day uh i don't even know if leroy is still that that millionaire that we thought he is after him not being able to pay his staff i got some suspicions but then okay let's leave that so uh musa took the twenty thousand. uh oami laughed at musa for uh, taking the twenty thousand bribes and remember, it's not just the 20,000. I think he, he has also expressed getting or confessed getting the 10,000 from uh, Egurileni Meya or Egurileni something. Somebody in the in the Meya, uh, in the Egurileni municipality. Somebody in the Egurileni municipality and someone who is top there, some politician who is a top dog there in the Egurileni municipality um, is in a relationship with is said to be a sugar a sugar daddy to Cyan Buji. So he also paid ten thousand so that Musa can stop talking about them, about their affair. So Musa apparently he gets money there and there with these um stories. So these stories are not for Mahala. Now, back to Oami. Oami laughed about that. And when she laughed, of course, other people felt like 
she is giving Mosa too much credit. She is giving Mosa too much credit by even uh, discussing Mosa like that, making a video just addressing Mosa on him getting on her. Sorry, Ooh, hey. and I'm the one that said let's respect Mosa with his correct pronouns that he wants. Uh, but I keep forgetting now. Uh, Mosa is a she, guys. Let me get it. Let it sink in within me as well. So. Mosa Kaula um, heard about that and he just wrecked Owami again. Oh, guys, th that guy is just bad news. It's just bad news. I just wish Owami can, can take the kind of criticism that she gets on her on her comment section is positive criticism unless a person gets personal and attacks her personal you know if a person is direct but if a person is commenting about like because like there is one comment that i saw that that sounded like Oh, I mean, every person that is new will come for you because now you are the big thing. Remember that. So embrace that and just focus on your lane. Just keep on uh, moving forward. But it, it's kind like um, such comments to her. She feels like they are coming from haters. Whereas I feel like those are comments that are supposed to be building her. It seems like she is expecting all comments to be positive at all time. And positive does not necessarily mean, um, like I, I want to say, like a comment that I just um, spoke about. To me, it's one of the positive comments, but it seems like she does not take it as, as one. It feels like Oami takes a pos positive comment as a positive a, a comment that is just embracing her like what she's doing like a pra appraisal. Every appraisal is is good is from the people that love her, and then every comment that is like critique in a form, uh, she takes it as not positive criticism, but she takes it as coming from haters. And that's where she is wrong. Uh, I think I am one of the people that stopped commenting on her page for a while. I'm not saying I'm not going to comment because now if I see good things, uh, I, I comment positive things. But uh, there are times when I feel like if I know that you're not going to take this well, you're not going to get uh, what I'm trying to say, I decide, okay, let me talk. Let me just keep quiet. The aim when I comment is not to break. The aim is not to... It's like we're trying to... I don't know. And I think many people are like that. Um, unless a person is like being nasty, playing nasty. That a person that I can call... Um, a person that I can call an, a hater is a person that comes for a person that comes for your looks, a person that comes at something that you have and something that you cannot change. But if it's something that you can change and a person that shows you the other side, the other version, it's not hating, guys. And uh, nah, for for uh, uh, for my sake, please. I hence I say I like interacting with you in this in the comment section i really do like uh criticism okay as long as you're not gonna come for my spots <laughs> as long as you're not come uh, you're not gonna come at my <laughs> overbite of my teeth as now as long as you're not gonna come for my looks because those i can't change but if it's anything that you feel like i should change please leave it for me in the comment section I will never call you a, a an, an enemy. That is not being an enemy, guys. Um, I think many enemies will just sit 
sit and watch you go on a path that is not going to to help you and n even people that are appraising you are good they are good for your morale they are good for your they are good good for 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 your being it, it they they lift you up hence as a person i think you should al always be like as much as you are going to look for that one comment that that sounds negative but also focus on the other many positive comments but that very one comment look at it see if there isn't any anything that you can use on it before you classify it as coming from an enemy uh, i feel like you need to scrutinize it give it a chance see if okay what was what was this talking about instead of taking it like they are coming for me she uses words like people are coming for me people are coming for me no oh, i mean it's not everybody that's coming for you i think yes there could be other people that are coming for you but my sister i feel like there are people that are just trying to give a positive advice that can help you build that can help you move forward if a person says to you um make peace with the fact that as a person of your caliber right now there are people that look up to you there are people that would attach your na their names to yours so that they get numbers like take it as a well, like i have arrived because you are dead you are you are you are dead you are something that people think like okay if i can be i can be there Mosa may, may see whatever uh, she wants but there are people that look up to you and say i want to be there so do not disappoint them by being nasty because some of them those very ones that are saying you know what look at it this way focus on the front focus on your on your way focus on the road forget about the the others don't waste time on them because you're giving them a uh, free airtime listen to this now there are people that took that that video of yours to Musa. now Musa has come back with more insults it's like insult and insult are you gonna make another video again to answer Musa back do you see that is going to be like to and fro to and fro you should hear those girls there they are laughing like i don't know and you you you're being laughed by people that have got nothing to do and time all the time to 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 gossip while you're busy working it's not worth it it's really not worth it um but then uh you she she did say you know i said what i said uh, and i can't she said something like i can't be the bigger person whereas i am this short um you are short you may be short you may feel short but you are something big you can be a bigger person because really no wonder they are doing this Musa is doing this is because you are big i suggest you'll have to go for therapy and not i'm not saying this in a bad way i'm saying this in the most positive way just to to prepare you mentally for the greatness that you you are stepping into if you have not noticed you are stepping into greatness and that greatness is a celebrity status girl and the celebrity status comes at the price the very people that you're talking about all those times the very many times when Lerato Khanyakho tried to, to threaten you and told you that it's because she was feeling what you are feeling now. And she did not understand at the time that her status is asking for people to be talking about her. Because if you don't see Lerato Khanyakho, you won't get views as well. So um, I want you to always remember the Lerato Khanyakho threat of suing you as something that should tell you that okay i'm getting closer to what lerato kanyako was getting closer and with the big um surprise that you're talking about <laughs> i think i see it just going sharp up 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 i don't see anything going down so please girl 
go get yourself mentally prepared for these things and then i said there's another good news now let's come to the good news the good news are she has announced that she'll be having a divorce party now what do i feel about that i support every move of it every bit of it if i were to afford an a divorce party look it's four years now after my divorce i would still throw it now pity i do not have the money that kind of money but then i feel like every woman that feels they deserve a divorce party why not every man that feels they deserve they deserve a divorce party why not we invited people when we celebrated our union why not invite people when you celebrate the split because you don't just get the the uh, reasons that put you there so those reasons that put you there they put you through hell before you can get there and i think you deserve to celebrate once you get to that site will i be going to owami's um divorce party no i wish i would but no, I, I cannot. I, I will. I cannot because of many reasons. One being the distance, and other dynamics. No, I will not going to be there. But I support it. And um, good luck to those who are going. But I must say, I must express this. I am worried. My worry is that your party doesn't seem to have a number. I wonder if your space does allow that and with you announcing that there is also a a, a a surprise that can make people come in big numbers as owami neziva Zwaulu, are you ready for that are you going to get ambulances are you going to get because really when people start being um uncontrolled in number it it just puts um it puts the whole situation in 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 a compromising position uh, i wish i could say that in your your inbox i don't know if i'm i'm welcome to say that in your inbox but that is my worry i feel like you could have some sort even if it's free but you could have some sort of a way to control the crowd that will be there because uh, we love mahala things guys i included mahala things i love them mahala things are inviting then number two if you say there will be a surprise everybody wants to know what will be the surprise other people wants to see a divorce party for the first time what kind of a party it is they would come just for that so i just hope everything goes well at your party i just wish everything goes well at her party in case she doesn't see she doesn't ever get to see this and by the way good luck on your new life may you may you get another woman another man sorry may you get another love we, we as divorced women all deserve love again. We deserve a second chance in love, honey. We really do deserve that. You deserve that. She deserves that. Every woman that's watching here that is divorced, girl, get out of there. Find a man. Find happiness. You deserve some happiness. Thank you so much for watching this video. <laughs> Remember to share, like, subscribe, set the notification bell, leave a comment in the comment section. Bye-bye.